okay. Can't believe you're falling for me already. At least buy me dinner first. So, you're turning 17 and it's time for your operation. For years, our country was plagued by war, greed and crime, leaving death and destruction in their wake. But due to the genius of our brave scientists, we have finally discovered the reason why. Love. This deadly disease caused much pain to man, but since its eradication in 2025, we have prospered. To prevent its spread, we gift you your operation. You will arrive at clinic and your doctor will conduct a brief assessment which will determine your emotional state as well as your future pairing and position in society. After this calming interview, you will be given a simple injection, painless and gentle. The next morning, you will wake up in your bed free from the infliction of this disease. Your biology teacher will now explain the science behind this part, so listen close. You must be excited, and we will see you at clinic very soon. Note that the process is as previously described, taking into account Barnett's theory of Eros, when phalethamine acts as a releasing agent for neurophene and its precursor, dopamine, the adrenaline increases the infection rate. Originating in the hypothalamus, the disease then spreads to the cerebral cortex. Now we know this process raises levels of cortisol, the stress hormone proven to suppress immune functioning. Weird, isn't it? Yeah, kind of scary, but I'm excited. I heard it didn't go too well. Wasn't there a boy a few years ago who got sanctioned because he didn't go to his appointment? Don't be stupid. That were a daft rumour. You never know. The government's cracking down more and more. I mean, you might say it's all just rumours, but I heard they thought he was no more sympathiser. <laughs> Are you nervous about tomorrow? I won't press you again. Was your date school productive? Have you told Abby and your classmates about your appointment tomorrow? I bet they're excited for you. Yeah. Abby can't wait for hers. I was jealous of your mother. Because she had hers before me. She was pregnant with you. Aunt Mary, please stop. Of course, she's sanctioned now, which is a good thing because she can't pass the influence on to you. Shut up! Don't talk to me like that. I'm just glad you won't end up like that. Mind if I say? No. Everything all right? I see. Is it a boy? A girl then? Well, it's not that. Your age must be... Oh. Have I told you? about the time I met Jesus at a house party. It's true, he was there, drinking, dancing with the rest of us. Long robe, dark hair, a little shorter than I imagine though, and nowhere near as good as cutting shapes as you think a carpenter would be. <laughs> it was only when the night was drawn to a close though, and the man Jesus started to, you know. And that's when I realised he wasn't the Messiah. <laughs> He's just a very naughty boy. <laughs> To love is free.
Lucy, we're going to be late. I'm coming. Are you here for the operation too? We might be paired up afterwards. <laughs> Just think, as soon as you step through those doors. Everything will feel better. This is the start of the rest of your life. Lucinda Cullinan. Um, Lucinda Sophie Colliman. Age? 18. Sexual activity? None. Alcohol consumption? None. Drug use? None. Exercise? Moderate. Diet? Normal, I suppose. Favourite meal? Well, chicken and potatoes and broccoli. And your mother? What? Your mother. She was, she was called Carla. For this test to be recorded accurately, you need to give me correct answers. She, um, she died. Yes, good. Let's get on with the procedure. Please take a seat in the examination chair. What now? We run. 